coronary angioplasty is a technique for dealing with narrowings in coronary arteries. And these narrowings can typically cause angina, chest pain, or breathlessness. And the way that they're dealt with is a small tube is placed into the artery, a wire is passed down the artery, and over that wire, a balloon is positioned in the area of narrowing and inflated. And when that's been done, one can also place a stent, which is a metal scaffold, uh, which will keep the artery open and resolve that narrowing and hopefully remove or reduce the symptoms of chest pain and breathlessness. So a coronary angioplasty is an extremely safe procedure. It's generally carried out through a small artery in the wrist or the leg, uh, and the small risks include damaging the artery, causing a small heart attack, or occasionally causing a stroke. The risk of any of these complications runs at less than one in 100 for a standard procedure, and in most cases, this can be carried out as a day case with the patient being discharged home either the same day or overnight. So an extremely safe procedure. So the major difference between a coronary artery bypass operation and angioplasty is that the former is a surgical procedure where the patient is anaesthetized, uh, the heart is exposed for an incision in the chest, and the narrowings in the artery are bypassed using other blood vessels. This can either be a vein from the leg or can be an artery from inside the chest wall, and that's placed across the area of narrowing. A coronary angioplasty, in contrast, is a technique where the narrowing itself is dealt with with a balloon or stent, i.e. the narrowing is stretched open. And as such, that's a much less invasive procedure, uh, as mentioned, usually carried out via the artery in the arm or the leg, uh, carrying a risk about one in a hundred. So a smaller procedure with a much more rapid recovery. No, a coronary angioplasty is not a major surgical procedure. It's a minor interventional procedure. It does not involve an incision. It does not involve general anesthesia. It does not, not involve a long period of recovery. So typically one would recover uh, within a few hours of the procedure and be back up as normal within a few days. So this largely depends on how complex the procedure is, but in a standard angioplasty procedure, one rests for approximately 48 hours and mobilize normally following that. You can usually return to driving within a few days and, and work within a few days.